dance he used to sing. He was just singing a couple of songs, but uh, you and I in the one bed uh, and the gander, you know, the hunt. Yeah. And I command Giorgio, by the way. Giorgio is the son of his father, if ever there was one. He's a great uh, Marty, Marty Marlon, one of the, the best known and most loved men in the country. And I knew him more through set dancing, I suppose, but also through drinking and talking. You know. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah, yeah. <coughs> well, one evening of late as I strayed and rambled through fields, how often I chased with haste and very quick speed. I've been going for a freak where rakes and factions don't meet to be drinking strong tea, hot cakes and things that are sweet. Well, the evening been freezing and indeed and I was very cold. It frost in me heels, me bites and cramps in me toes. I thought it no harm to warm the shanks of the fire, expecting more and her daughter that they surely would me admire. Well, the teapot came round, and in spouts we got stuff very strong. Our mother said, speak, or make a verse of a song. Our Bill in the corner, he cursed and he swore in a fright, since his gander was stolen and roasted last Saturday night. Now the scandal was old, he was noble, but sturdy and strong. He never grew cold, although he lived very long. His feet and his legs were as yellow as the gold that do shine, and his bake it would hold an inch for a very short time. Well, I've travelled Killarney, Kilgarvan, Cantork and Mill Street and around by Cork Harbour, hawking in turkeys and geese and in all of my travels and rambles I never did meet with the likes of Bill Scandor for beauty and very fine breed. Well, the girls all came for game and look for breed. When the herd of the name and fame of Bill and his geese, they measured the scandal's fine legs with a carpenter's rule, and they never would part him when they saw the fine length of his wing. <laughs>